Hey, what's up, y'all? This is your girl, Trinity, back with another video. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm just gonna jump right into it. Today's video is going to be about how and why I stopped eating meat. My no meat eating journey started back in 2017, so it's been about three years since I started this. Becoming vegan or vegetarian has always been something that was of interest to me. I just wasn't ready spiritually or mentally. I wasn't mature enough to make that decision. I didn't have enough self-discipline. Prior to me making this decision to quit, um, to cut me out of my diet, I was um, overweight. Immediately before that I wasn't, I was actually very thin. My lifestyle prior to that was fried food, um, you name it, fried chicken, chicken wings, burgers, ribs, the whole freaking nine. Back in 2017, I started dating someone that did not eat meat. Um, and that's a funny story. I'll have to tell that in another story time, how I found out he didn't eat meat. I had cut red meat out, but at the time I wasn't eating much meat anyways. I did have, I would eat like chicken and fish and shrimp and stuff like that, mainly tilapia and chicken. Those were like my two sources of protein right there. And then I would have like salad and rice and something else on the side. So then I started to just, when I prepared my food, I just left the meat off the plate. So I would just have a bunch of sides, which, I'm happy to say that I've graduated since then and I can make full course meals with no meat. <laughs> Eventually I stopped buying um, meat at the grocery store. I worked at Target at the time, so Target had this little section of grocery store, a uh, grocery store section. So my go-to for lunch every day was a chicken, it was a chicken uh, hot pocket or whatever. It, it was chicken alfredo hot pocket i can't remember the exact name but i was still eating chicken when i would be at work it wasn't all the time either still so eventually that stopped too but i started working from home i was solely working from home at this point and so again i would make grocery lists go to the grocery store and just not purchase meat I wanna say over the last two years, I have been working on cutting out fish, seafood, which I very seldom eat now. Like if I go out, then I might get something with shrimp or if I'm ordering something in and it's like a date night with, you know, with quarantine going on or I'm just trying to treat myself, then I will go ahead and eat half shrimp or something or fish or something like that. Normally it's, it's shrimp. But other than that, for the most part, I would say that like probably about 95% of my diet is strictly fruits and vegetables, rice and beans, I eat spinach, kale. I make smoothies because they're quick, they're filling, and I can move about and still do what I need to do throughout the day. But then, you know, later on in the day, I'll have like a kale salad. I haven't completely cut dairy out just yet. I have cut eggs, I've cut milk, I've cut cheese. There might be some products that I use like Sometimes I'll make boxed rice that has the seasoning and stuff in it already. I don't know if that has dairy in it, but that's like, like I said, few and far in between. Everyone calls it a pescatarian. I'm not really one for labels, but you know, just to give you an idea of what my diet looks like in a day, I'm a pescatarian. Look it up, Google it, whatever. It's just that I, I still eat seafood. Over the last two years, I have cut seafood out almost entirely, almost cut all of dairy products out, and this leads me to the reason why. At first I, I did it because I wanted to, I just, I don't know, I guess I was looking for something different spiritually. I know that sounds weird, how does diet and spirit connect? Or maybe somebody doesn't know what that is. I'll get into that in another video. What you eat is what you become. When I took the meat out, I started to feel lighter, like spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, I felt lighter. I started to lose weight. It got me in the kitchen more, learning more about my health and what fruits and vegetables did did um, for my body, different body parts and, and all that kind of stuff. That's the reason why I continued on the no meat journey, just because it's, it started to make me feel good. I feel like it cleared my thoughts in a way and it cleared some clutter in my space, like just in my overall life, just by getting rid of meat. The other benefits was I was having regular periods, not cramping as much. Um, they were actually shorter in length. Now, this is TMI, so guys, if you want to fast forward, if you're a dude watching this. Before it was like seven days, like literally seven days of just hell. And then when I started to cut meat out and get more vegetables and fruits and more water, 
water and cutting the salt out. Honey, three day periods, two heavy and one day just finishing it out. You know what I'm saying? And ladies, you know what I mean. I felt more energized, made meal prep easier um, in terms of like grocery shopping. Like I don't have to visit the meat section anymore. I can eat, um, I would say still moderation, but in comparison to meat, I can eat so much more. Anyways, you guys, that is the story of how and why I stopped eating meat. If you guys have any further questions or comments, definitely sound off in the comments below. So I ran out of memory on my phone. I just wanted to come back and say that I'm sending love, light, and positivity your way. And I hope that you're having a beautiful and blessed day. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.